Today's video is sponsored by Earth Breeze. My crew is here and they're finishing the greenhouse. Hey ya, uh, hey ya, uh, the crew is here. They're massive. I'm just not gonna avoid the mud. Ooh, I like that. I was wondering how they locked. Mm -hmm. Nice. These doors are much bigger than I had anticipated and they're actual glass. And the glass is already there, so they're totally see-through. When the bottom is a glass, but it's got like a little striation in it, but the top ones are not. Wow, it looks awesome. <laughs> Hi, it's me. <laughs> I'm sitting here editing this video. I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a background if this is, if you missed the last few videos, but this is a Rimmel greenhouse. Rimmel, look at this awesome hat. I love it. I'm a hat girl. I love to wear hats. You guys see me wear hats all the time in my video. In the summertime, I'm wearing baseball caps. In the wintertime, I'm wearing my crocheted goodies, but I love this hat. I love the style. Okay, so the t it's a Rimmel greenhouse. It's actually the Nor'easter. It's 30 by 96. I wanted the 34. However, the folks at Rimmel, they're the professionals. And they told me for my zone, my area, my snow load, the 30 would be more structurally sound for me in the winter time here in upstate New York. So we went with a 30 by 96, super happy with it. I have two previous videos of the construction so far. These are kind of the final touches in this video of the doors, the fans, the shutters, those things. Really, really excited to see this whole thing come together. Most of you guys know this is a structure going up in, I guess it's gonna be dedicated to my grandfather. It's gonna be a greenhouse in my grandfather's name and I'm wearing my favorite granddaughter shirt. Something that we all, we all have one that says this, so. I actually am just sitting here waiting for my CSA members to come pick up and I'm editing during it. Look at this Cafe Olay. Isn't she darling? I'm obsessed. I actually have a ton of these coming so I cannot wait to spoil all of my flower lovers with these here in Bloomville. Anyway, back to the greenhouse. A lot of you guys are asking me what the cost for something like this is and it's super simple. On Rimmel's website, they actually have a calculator so you can punch in what you want and it will add everything up for you. Cause you can get one of these without the heat. I went a little bit fancy with the polycarbonate skirting. That was a few extra thousand dollars. You don't need to do something like that. The fans, the glass doors, those are all extras. You can make it fit your budget if this is something that you wanna do. Anyway, there's a calculator to add up how much these actually cost right on Rimmel's website. I'll put a link in the description below. I worked with Matt. Matt was the salesperson. He was amazing. We worked together probably over a month putting together the details of what I thought I needed in the greenhouse. And then with his expert advice, it really helped me determine exactly what would be best for my area. And I'm really happy with this. So I'm gonna let you guys, the rest of the video is, I'm not gonna be talking a lot. I'm just gonna show you that we're installing the sliding glass doors. They are eight foot wide, eight foot tall sliding glass doors. So. It's gonna be awesome. And I guess the eventual plan for this greenhouse is to have it be retail, to have it be one of the main houses where people go in and out. I'd like to eventually have a cash register in there. But right now for this coming season, it's gonna be basically just a grow house because I don't have a path for people to get back there yet. <laughs> the eventual plan is to have the parking lot back there, but I am not there yet. Okay, so back to the video. Oh, the fans are up. I didn't even notice. There's, well, one fan, two fan, two, three. Jeez Ooh. Louise. They look really, really good. I heard those were really light. Watch the wood. Yup. <laughs> oh, thank God. 
the guy was like, you should probably open them up and make sure. And I'm like, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's so pretty. I mean, when it's not fair week or woodsman's week, it's pretty peaceful over here in this section of the town. <laughs> We're so excited. They're putting the other door on the other end. The store is almost complete. There's still a couple things that they have to put on. Um, but it's muddy. Look how muddy. It has done nothing but rain and rain and rain for a couple weeks now. Um, but my grandmother is stopping by. She's coming with a friend. And I'm excited because she. this is the first time that she's going to be seeing the greenhouse. So... Do you call that a pokey stick? Yeah. That's such <laughs> that's a proper term. Grandma's here. Grandma's here. I'm running to the front. And now, more about the sponsor of today's video. It's Earth Breeze. More than 700 million laundry detergent jugs end up in landfills and oceans every single year. EarthBreeze takes the plastic out of doing laundry. The packaging is compact, biodegradable, and plastic-free. Their powerful eco sheets look like dryer sheets, but they're not. It's detergent that dissolves 100% in hot or cold water and can be used in any type of machine. It couldn't be easier. No measuring, just toss them in. Doing a small load? No problem, just use half a sheet. I've been using these for months now and my clothes have never been cleaner. With EarthBreeze, their flexible subscription plans can be adjusted, paused, or canceled at any time without penalty. For every pack sold, EarthBreeze donates 10 loads to charity. Go to earthbreeze.com slash Flower Hill Farm to get started with 40% off. That's earthbreeze.com slash Flower Hill Farm for 40% off your subscription. Thanks to EarthBreeze for keeping me smelling pretty and for sponsoring this video. Hey! so heavy, I can't open it and I can't close it. Oh, yeah. well, there we are. We're gonna drive back in the backyard. We're gonna attempt because we've gotten stuck in the backyard a few times. Yeah, with the, Cause the it's, rain is yeah. incessant, it doesn't stop. It's too muddy to walk back there with I know you had your boots on when I got Oh, I got my boots on for days. Well, yesterday didn't know when to stop, it just would rain and Look at that tree's turning colors. It's always already. the first one to turn. It's turning orange. Graham, Halloween's it's going to be, it's, it's, it's huge, and you're going to see it right away when we, when we turn around and out here. It's your husband's truck? No, it's the builders. Oh, the builders. Oh, they're back here. Oh, my God, Nicole. Look at the size of that. It's huge. Under the tree. <laughs> Under Gabriel's oak. I don't want to get stuck. But... No, don't get stuck. He's looking at you coming. He's going to make you want to holler at him. <laughs> Look at how this side, yeah, all the room that you've got. It's a hundred feet going long. Going wide too. I yeah. mean, look at it. And what have they got on the bottom? Is it cinder blocks? Or? It's... Um, no, those are ground posts that go all the way around, and then there's 
um, just polycarbonate all along the sides and there's a stone floor right now eventually I'd like to do something else with the floor but right now it's a stone floor yeah, we're gonna put the black that. fabric over I top saw of when it you did that. what kind of fabric a black fabric on top of it eventually I'd like to almost do like a patio flooring like a tile flooring right, right. would be really nice but stone floor for now those huge fans My the God, heater the sliding glass doors um, are gorgeous I'm gonna go shut them so you can see them shut okay okay I um the back end has shutters and then the memorial garden will go all the way around it I have people sending me donations really in memory of their grandfather oh. and like putting their grandfather's so mem name yeah mem yeah garden. yeah where you put a um, name on the tree that's exactly what we're gonna do so there'll be a bench and that'll have somebody's name on it and there'll be a tree and that'll have another name on it right. so It'll be all the way around the back. I was just telling the builders this morning that I want to put a fountain in the back, like right out the back door. Right. A fountain with like a circle patio around the fountain. There's you just a picture in your head. I do. What you want. And you, so. Tree, you're absolutely beautiful and you better stay that way because you're going to be the focal point it's of a beautiful memorial garden. It, I mean... Don't ever let anything happen that that tree gets. Uh... Graham, I get nervous about that tree every day. Okay then. Bye bye. Bye. I love you guys. <laughs> Grandma now says the other greenhouses look like babies now compared to that one, and she said she's not going to be able to fully grasp the size of it until she gets in there. Um, so I didn't record everything. We had a little bit of, I don't know. I cry all the time, but anyway, so I kept the super emotional stuff off camera. Um, but grandma can't wait until it's a little bit drier. We just couldn't get back to the greenhouse for her to get in. It's all muddy. You guys saw how muddy it was back there. But now the guys are putting up the purlins, which are where the hanging baskets and the drip lines will actually hang from. So let's go check out that. And there you have it guys. My greenhouse is almost done. I mean, it's not done yet because guess what we're missing? We're missing electric, we're missing water, we're missing the drip. All of the finishing touches to make this a usable greenhouse for February when all of my baby plants come. Um, and that's, I mean, I know it's August, but snow is gonna fly around here real soon. It feels like fall already. It's been, I know some of you guys are dealing with three digit temperatures, 105, 115. Well, it's like 62 here, 65 in the forties at night already. They're actually threatening that we're gonna get frost within two weeks of now, within two weeks. It's not unheard of. However, it's a little early and my dahlias are doing way too well this season to get frost anytime soon. It's Gertie, she's cute. Look, this apricot star. Oh, they're just, they're all just doing so wonderful this season. So I really am not ready for frost yet. Usually by this time I'm like, all right, <laughs> when's the season gonna be ending? Because I'm so exhausted, but I'm feeling it this year. I'm loving the flowers, everything looks great, and I'm really having a good time on the farm. Once we start to get electric and the water back there, Brad's gonna be doing the irrigation. I've gotta get that ordered here soon, but that's what, a lot of the questions that I was asking Jeff and Mark, which by the way, shout out to CNJ Farms, not Jake, this is Jeff and Mark Williams from CNJ Farms in New York State. They're in Constantia. They, their family owns a huge greenhouse nursery operation. They have 19 greenhouses this size, 19 of them. They know what they're doing and I've been picking their brains every day that they were here. And uh, they're just so knowledgeable. I was asking them a whole bunch of questions about you know, how they fertilize, how they take, ha handle bugs, how they plant their plugs in their hanging baskets, what their spacing is, stuff like that. You can't beat firsthand knowledge like that, really. And I'm gonna go visit their operation. They have the, the coolest machinery to plant their stuff. They actually have seed machines and plug machines and all this 
really cool stuff. So I'm gonna go out there in early February when they start their stuff and hopefully I'll be able to bring my camera out there and do a video about how a, a really big operation does it compared to how I do it by hand. <laughs> anyway, when we get the electric and the water back there, I'll, of course I'll bring you guys along. I'm hoping Brad is gonna be ready to go. We do, my dad's gonna do the electric, my dad's an electrician and Brad's gonna do the water. And then we're also gonna be bringing water out into the garden too, so that I can eventually have some lighting out in the Memorial Garden. I'd really love that to be a beautiful space. So we're trying to think ahead of everything that I'm gonna want five years from now, so that we get it done now when it comes to the electric and water. But for now, this favorite granddaughter is signing off. We'll see you next time, guys.